Hey guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, or Survival Ascended, Reverence. And it's been a long while since the last episode, and a lot of things have changed, as well as a lot of stuff has grown, as there's a lot of stuff overgrowing in my house right now. But I've added a couple of new mods, like this Chibi Souls mod, where I would be able to like kill alpha creatures and exchange them for like new little like chibis as like trophies which I'm really excited I'm I am actually kind of excited to see what I'm what my first chibi is going to get but also I might actually try to get that or that yellow drop right there real quick and see if I can get to that new building over there I'm not sure if it's a, uh, something I can go over there real quick. And it looks like I could get there. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something I could get there. But yeah, a lot of a lot of things have uh, it's been a long while since, since the last time I played it. Just mainly with like work and stuff and you know, just same old like the sea is still kind of uh, not foggy, which I don't really mind it. I'm going to be honest. It's not something that I'm really too upset about it. It's just like, yeah, whatever. And to be honest, I, I pretty much prefer it not having it. Some people may disagree with me, but personally, I feel like it's fine since it's just like the, the normal arc. And unless they find some way the mod creator can, like, um, oh, it's full. Wait, what level am I? Damn it, level 43? Okay, but, um, yeah, as you can see, they have added some new things in the map right now. I haven't really looked into it a lot, but I really want to just like go and find and tame a new fly right now since I have I do have a smithy and and I do want to see if there's like more things that I can like Why are you oh it's changed getting chased by a Dilophosaurus. I kind of want to see this, um, yeah, the drop's gone, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. But the main thing I want to focus on right now is taming up an Argentavis for, like, some very, very good, um, very, very good, a uh, very good flyer, and sooner or later just try and start focusing on um like higher level creatures and start going more like mid game now since i'm pretty much fine with uh early game yeah i should go over there and check out that blue drop and with the surprising Sarko that I got from the last episode, it's not really that great. Stamina, obvi it's obviously just because it's a low level. It's like almost every creature that is going to be a low level is going to be really bad. <laughs> like it's, it's not really a surprise as a, as a fact. But I do want to try and start to focus on getting Argentavis and then hopefully start getting like higher level creatures on this day forward. <laughs> oh. Die. Level one free, no wonder you didn't die by one bite. Give me your hide. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I mean, 
honestly, I kind of want to tame a Basilo, but I mean, I don't think that there's like any real reason why I should tame one. Other than just like, essentially just taking over the ocean by just taming a Basilo. But I don't want to just be like a, oh, let me tame a Basilo and just, just immediately rule the ocean. I do want to like work from the ground up sort of thing. Kind of like what I'm doing in the earlier episodes of where it's like, it's not like, it's not too early and too long, but it's not going to be like, like I just suddenly get like, a, like, uh, like a, a Giganotosaurus at the, at the second episode, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, where's the blue drop? It's, uh, I suppose one of those. Oh. Oh, wait. No. Anyways. Um, yeah, no, I need to get a better mount. Because the Sarko is good in water, but it's not good on land. And I'm not sure if there's any Iguanodons anywhere. But I do want to get a simple kibble farm going. Which I do have some rock carrots, but I do need to get some. I need to make a cooking pot as well as some other ingredients from what I remember. I just need to get fish. Oh yeah, and also I have added a incubator mod just to sort of just help. Again, I I don't think I. I've told you guys about that, but I've also added the incubator mod of where I won't have to like constantly like keep an eye on every single egg and every single creature and have to kill every single one of them that isn't good. <laughs> Cause I mean look, honestly, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to sit around, wait for the eggs to hatch, and then only to kill it after it's like not what they wanted. It's it's kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb design. It's, I'm gonna be honest. And yeah, as you can see, it's a, it's a, it's pretty it grown. And here's some rock carrots, for, and you know what? Let me actually clean up this place. And I'm just gonna be seeing real quick if there is a iguanodon. Ig, no, just, just, an, uh, just a giganotosaurus. Let me see, um, iguanodon. I, I, I. No. That is really strange. Well, it's kind of not very great, but there was an Argentavis, so I might go ahead and tame that, but it'll probably be a low level as well, so it's not going to be like a an amazing tame sort of thing, which I'm, I'm alright with it. And I do kind of want to have my first travel mount to be like an Iguanodon, because those, those creatures are good. I mean, honestly, the only reason why Iguanodons don't really get that rep is because it's it's overtaken by like more by like Argentavis Argentavises, and honestly, even Pteranodons. Argentavises and Pteranodons are usually the ones that overshadow everything, every land mount because. It negates all kinds of like problems with the land, such as just anything that is like a Microraptor to a Giganotosaurus. I remember when this. I remember when when I played sur when I played Evolved on like an official server. I had this like wanted on, and. I was like running around just exploring the island just to see like like what 
other people's bases are and like all that stuff. Just exploring, see like, just exploring mainly from what I remember. But as I was, as I was exploring, I was on this riverbank like between the, the volcano mountain and the redwood forest. And then I, I like turned away for a second and then I turned back around and I see the Giganotosaurus just like running around. Like it's it's a straight up wild Giganotosaurus. And I'm like, what the, why, what, <laughs> what? And like that, like it actually kind of scared me. But thankfully for some reason it didn't notice me and it was focusing on something else. <laughs> so me and my Iguanodon was still alive and evolved, but, oh, that's a, that is a Rex. A level 15 Rex, but mm, should I try and tame it? I mean, it's no, it's gonna be far from from. Mm. Let's. I want to tame the Argentavis first. I'm gonna leave it alone for right now because Styracosauruses are probably are not the really most powerful creatures I know of. And I just want to tame a low-level Argentavis is my main goal right now. It's just, or maybe a Tyranodon. A decent level Tyranodon, a high-level Tyranodon, or a Argent low-level Argentavis. Yeah, because that that's not good. That's that is a really bad level. Bad, bad level. I've got a lot of spoiled meat for that one. Uh, let's see here. Level 80. Alright. Ugh. I guess if there's nothing else, then I guess the level 80 for right now. Unless, unless if there is a Argentavis flying around here somewhere. Yeah, this is this is the reason why I want to get a better mount. Sarko is good on land or water. It's just not good on LAN. It can tank some stuff, but overall just not good at traversing lands. Uh, what is this level? 20. Oof. Man, I don't know. It's kind of weird that the modded map ha actually has like very criminally low level creatures spawning. Usually a lot of creatures in modern maps are usually ridiculously high level. Like it's like it's to a point of where it's rare to see level fives then then like level hundred through hundred and fifty in other maps. But here it's it's kinda of surprising that only like level like the level um is very low. Uh, let's see here. Uh, white drop. What level are you? Ten. Yeah. A lot of really bad levels. Low levels. Levels that I don't really want in a Tyranodon. Oh, I think I see a raptor. Yeah. Maybe a raptor would be nice. What level is it? Actually, hmm. Uh, oh, it's a nice color, though. I'm gonna have to kill it. 
die. I'm sorry, but you could have been like 125, but instead you're just a little 25. Maybe if we were a higher level, then maybe this wouldn't have happened. Alright, let's see here. Uh, that's another white drop. Uh, yeah, it's pretty barren up here. Like then level 16, 65, Argentavis. There's not a lot of creatures around here, just the Diplos and Brontos. Occasional Pteranodons. What is that? Oh, it's just crystal. That was like a bomb. I mean, I... Oh, shh. That's a Rex. Oh, that's an Alpha Rex. That's even worse. I was like, oh, it's a level 10. No, it's, a, it's an Alpha. <laughs> that's even worse. That is a lot worse. Oh, there's a Hyena down there. Oh, and my thing broke. Alright, let's head back real quick. Well, I mean, surely the Hyenodons won't attack me since I'm full health and my Sarko's at full health. And we are fully capable of fighting back and potentially killing everything. Like these little ants. Annoying, annoying ants. Uh, it's, oh, it's a baby diplo. Man, I would tame a diplo. They're my favorite sauropods, but they're so so disappointing when they were first released. I was so disappointed when they were first released, when they were just simply just pushy things. They literally can't hurt anything. The only thing that you can use Diplos to hurt is to like push them into lava. That's it. Or push them into like a kill void or something like that. Like that's that's the only way to like actually hurt them. It's so dumb. Like, I understand it's because it's like they have a saddle that has like a bunch of people on it. It's like, what? Oh, hi. Oh, it's a. Hi. Hey, don't. No. No. Die. God, why aren't they so bushy? Die. Jeez. So Where's the baby? I saw it, the little little baby thing on there. Is it still up there? Probably still up there. Man. Saber tooths are annoying. But what I was saying is that diplos are just really disappointing like even though that they are supposed to be used for like multiple people the main purpose is to have like like a bunch of your friends hop on a diplo and just start but another one it's a little seven oh no 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 don't die Alright, that could have been really bad if I hit that Bronto. Where's the baby? Usually I would see some kind of like a little grass movement. Maybe. 
Maybe not. Maybe it fell down. I don't know. Baby's probably gone. Forever. But, um, yeah, again, before I was rudely interrupted by another saber tooth, it's really disappointing of how Diplo, and I understand that it's because of like, it's essentially supposed to have like a bunch of people on there, but you know, people normally don't have friends that play Ark. I mean, myself, for example. Like, also because the game's like super demanding in like process power and all that stuff. And it's like really demanding in general that it's kind of not surprising that not a lot of people will play. I mean, I only had like one person play with me, but even then they're like not really feeling it and oops, sorry. That they're not really feeling it and you know, that's fine. You know, the game's not for everyone. It's... But I mean, having a creature that is dependent on a on like multiple people at once is kind of not my thing and, and I, it's just probably just because like I <laughs> the Diplo is probably one of my more favor favorable dinosaurs because I, I I want I really like when when walking with dinosaurs showed the Diplodocus or Diplodocus, whatever you call it. I personally call it the Diplodocus. Okay, level 75. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You'll be hopefully you'll give me some prime. Wow. You are hurting. Ow. Hit. Oh my goodness. This is bad. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Nope. Nope. What am I doing? Go to sleep, jeez. What? Why are you here? I hate this. Eat the parasaur. Okay. You will you. Okay. See how much it will take. Man, that sucks. I mean, it's not a. It, it was. I mean, yeah. Yeah, stuff happens. I'm kind of used to it. Actually, it's. Yeah, it's. I mean, let's see it, how much how much it eats, how much it takes. And if it only takes like
But yeah, does Sarko's hit, like... Okay, yeah. Die. You are unworthy. <laughs> Now let's try to get this raptor. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh, okay, good. Eat the parasaur first. And then I'll knock you out. Oh, it's eating something else. So hopefully this one will be better. And then just have the raptor eat eat the guy and then we'll just try and head back home. Actually, where am I? Okay, just just head south. Southeast. And we'll be fine. Nice blue color. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that they also added the the map also has new like like day transition cues which are really like cool sound. Stego. A cool looking Stego. 55. Packies. Mm. And a Bronto. So yeah, it just it seems pretty calm for a moment. before the storm. I probably oh jeez that is there's more okay they're they're not that bad but I mean they're still bad. There's still more but at least I got the level 75 which is good need the highest level of the pack. I'm not going to take my chances on them. I'm not going to have, have her take her chance. Alright. Name her Blue. Blue as in the, the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World 
reference, even though I never really watched the movie. <laughs> so let's just head back down and hopefully we can tr safely get down there without any issues. I hope. And that sucker death was kind of dumb. It's just. I was not able to, like, turn at all. Oh, jeez. That scared me. I thought it was, like, a, some kind of, like, new, horrible creature that I angered for some reason. Like, my mind, whenever that is... Oh, jeez. Let's go this way, Blue. Where'd you go? Oh, no. No. Where are you? Seriously st stuck? Are you stuck? No. Down. Just run. Just leave. Run. Run. Just run. No. <laughs> no. No. I told you it was gonna get worse. Hey, a purple drop. Okay. At least, at least there's a bunch of creatures that the that the T Rex can can get distracted at least for a little bit. Let's see. Okay, it's some nice gear, some nice stuff. Uh, honey, cooked prime meat. That might be possible. Uh, rare flower. Rare flower. So cooked prime meat might be the only option that we have so far. What is this back? Okay. That's odd. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it's there, but I don't know what died or what it means. Okay, so, at least we got a new raptor, hopefully she'll be a little bit better, let's actually check her stats. So health is decent, melee is alright, stamina is not great, food is wasted, oxygen is wasted, weight is not great, so yeah, it's overall just average. It's not the best, but it's probably better than the Sarko in terms of land traversing. And I'll probably just start making up some cooked corn meat real quick and then tame the uh, moss chops if the T Rex doesn't catch it first, which might. I hope not, but you just never know. Never know with this game, all of its craziness. Alright, but yeah, that'll be it for this episode, and see you all next time.